every booty and welcome to Scalix Plunder. Today I'm going to be melting uh, brass uh, bread loaf and coins and ingots. See I got aluminum, got copper bread loaf, but I got no brass bread loaf and I got no brass uh, skulls. So I'm going to do that up. Here's brass. I'm going to melt it. Look at all these, uh, all these cool motors. Now, I got a big one over there. Uh, I thought it was big until I saw this one on site. And it probably doesn't look big to you. Um, it is big. I know it's big because it hurts to lift it. Uh, it's really big. So that'll be fun. And then I got this sweet microwave. I got this A coil here, uh, air conditioning coil. It goes basically on top of your furnace. And I've got an inducer motor there. All that copper wire still has to go. I would love to get rid of all that. Uh, you know, I got buckets full of copper wire. Some scrap metal. Dirty brass. A dirty copper. Lots of dirty copper. Copper wire, I got a strip. More copper wire, I got a strip. Copper tube. Uh, what is that? That is... Oh, that's aluminum. Uh, this is aluminum BX. This is... Oh, that's aluminum foil. This is pop cans. I have all that to process too. I have a lot of work ahead of me. You know, all these motors and stuff. Got aluminum here, I still have to melt. Brass ball valves. Motors. This is all the brass I really got. It's not that much. Um, I'm not going to melt all that. I'm going to take... This bucket and this bucket only. Aha! I got a new toy. Yes. Aha! I got multiple new toys. Uh, this one is a bandsaw, compact bandsaw. It's about four inches. And on top of my vacuum, I've got, um, what is it called? Random Orbit Sander, haha! -ha! And then I got some different discs, 40 to 240 grit, 240 to 5,000. Woo! Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so back in the garage, and it's not actually that cold out, but it is windy and it is dark out. So Thankfully, I can literally melt all night long, which is great. And there's my beautiful bike, which I miss so much. But today is about brass.
Jakże masz? Dziękuję. heavy. So uh, maybe halfway through that melt there, I decided to go and get more brass, even though I said I was not going to do that. And <laughs> um, so much for setting goals. Uh, but I am pretty low. So I'm probably going to take a little bit of break from brass for a while, because it takes a long time to accumulate the brass. But anyways, just going to wire brush these fellas and females, and then get rid of that. And then the polishing will begin, my least favorite part. Got them all wire brushed. Looking pretty nice. Very beautiful. I'd buy that for a dollar, maybe two. Got all those cleaned up. And these guys are next. Oh, yeah. I also got these cute little vice uh, jaws. Mm. Jaws? I don't know. They'll protect the, the, the stuff, you know, so it doesn't get scratched.
That was so much easier. I'm so glad I got this bandsaw. That just made my job a whole lot easier. So that got ripped down pretty quick. Really glad I got that. You can only imagine how awesome that would be if I had an actual bandsaw, like a table bandsaw. Anyways, enough chit chat. You're probably sick of that. Well, that kind of rhymed. Uh, I got a polish now. My, uh, it's my job. I'm not getting paid for it. But... Anyways, let's do it. I watched a YouTube video and I figured I would try flits thingy. Hopefully this turns out to be um good because it wasn't cheap. Goodbye. Okay, so the dude in the video said you spray it. Whoops. Whoa. And then you're supposed to clean it with water. Kind of stinky. Whoa. Yeah, it kind of smells weird. It smells really weird. I don't like how it smells. It, uh, reminds me of sewage. And the homie said, clean it. Okay. Whoa. Then, the homie said to take this. Just gotta pop it. Whoa. Blue, and he said, Do this. Okay, then he said to take a drill and use this cool thing. Okay, wish me luck. see a lot of scratches but I have, do have to say uh, these guys at Flitz really know what they're doing <laughs> you, you can really see how uh, oh, crappy I am with this okay but I will get better give me time let me just clean this up the sides are kind of dirty I'm going to use this foot stuff you just see it lifting all that garbage out of there this stuff's great Especially this backside, it's so dirty. <laughs> Look at that. Can't really tell, but that's copper. So this flitz was able to show the copper that's in there. Copper that came off of the mold. That brass bread loaf mold. That is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna shine it up quick. What? All right, so I'd call that a success. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. It is very shiny. 
just some scratches. And so I just got to do these guys now. Not too sure how to do the coins with this new setup, so I will get back to you. Now it's got to repeat what the homie in the video said, so here we go. Okay, after many hours grinding, polishing, finally done everything. This is the end result. And uh, I think the lighting or the camera or one of my settings is not doing justice, but uh, it's looking pretty good. I'd buy that for a dollar. It's pretty sweet. Coins turned out great. So there's a lot of imperfections, but I definitely see potential here. I could definitely do a lot better in the future, but I am quite proud of that. My first bread loaf, I think probably my nicest job in polishing. Um, so, you know, not the greatest, but it's only up from here. So here we go. Okay, so last video I melted 17.79 pounds and I got 129.18 pounds of aluminum total melted. Today I melted 33.59, well it wasn't today but it was a couple days ago. 33.59 pounds uh, plus the 91 pounds brings it to 124.99 pounds, so 125 pounds of brass. Golly. Which brings my total to 398.44 pounds. All the metals. Golly. Alright, time to put it away. <laughs> 